Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the parallel in serial of shift register VHDL code. So in the last video, we have started the introduction of this parallel in serial of shift register. How to the, how the data is being shifted. So data enters serial is parallelly and data leaves the shift register serially. So enters parallelly and leaves serially. So we have considered a 4 bit parallel in serial of shift register as we have seen in the diagram we need 4 flip flops and we need some additional circuitry. The purpose of additional circuitry is once the data can be loaded parallelly to shift the data serially we need 2 separate operations. So loading operation should be done and as well as serial shifting operation should also be Done. So for that we are using two AND gates. One is for loading operation, another one is for the shifting operation. Two AND gates and the outputs of two AND gates is connected to R gate. So here the entire operation is being done with the mode pin. Mode is equal to zero. Then parallel loading operation is done and mode is equal to one. Uh, serial shifting operation is being done. Okay. Now let us write the VHDL code on this. VHDL code in behavioral model. So we know library I triple E library I triple E. This is a library, and we are taking a package use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all one one six four dot all this is the package that includes all the types of gates and everything which is, which is required for the program now coming to entity where we declare the inputs and outputs entity Parallel in serial out, parallel in serial out is port. What are the inputs we have? Data input we have, which is of 4 bit size. So, data in, see here, data input D of 0, D of 1, D of 2, D of 3. This is for parallel loading operation. So, data in, in, std underscore logic underscore vector vector of size is 4 bit so 3 down to 0 3 down to 0 and we have clock pin reset pin and load operation load is nothing but m we have taken there okay otherwise i will consider the m only to avoid any confusion m in std underscore logic next serial out serial out is a single bit output because it is a serial out the shift register out std underscore logic okay see parallel in all four bits parallelly loaded that's why we are taking the input is of four bit size and serial out Serial out means only one by one bit is coming. So that's why serial out is a single bit. Okay. Now coming to uh, okay end entity name PISO. And coming to architecture. Architecture behavior of parallel in serial out is begin begin process process of now what are the instances we have we have a clock signal we have a reset pin and we have a mode pin and we have a mode pin and data input pin which is a d in now variable variable yes I am taking a variable AS yes, which is first initially 
loaded with zeros. std underscore logic underscore vector of 3 down to 0 which is loaded with 4 zeros is equal to colon equal to 4 zeros semicolon. Begin. Begin. See what happens first if reset is equal to 1. All the flip flops output is equal to 0. So first you should always write if any reset pin is there in the porting then first you should always write with reset. If reset is equal to 1 then yes out is equal to 0. That means all the outputs are cleared. Else if else if means there is no reset pin which is not uh, 1 then else if clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 then clock tick event and clock is equal to 1 that means it says that there is a rising edge on the clock signal then if if now see we are going for the comparison of mode signal if mode is equal to if mode is equal to 1 if mode is equal to 1 then if mode is equal to 1, then what happens? What is S out? S out is equal to, we will see right here. What is M1? See, when M is equal to 1, shifting operation is done. When M is equal to 1, shifting operation is done. Else, it is parallel loading. Okay. Otherwise, we will write first parallel loading. If M is equal to 0, if M is equal to 0, then, then, loading operation is done. So, initially S is loaded with 0. So, now S is loaded with data input. Okay, initially S is a variable which is loaded with 4 zeros. Now, that is arrived and we, now it is loaded with parallel data else 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 means else means m is equal to 1 if m is equal to 0 then loading operation is done otherwise otherwise what shifting operation should be done shifting means s yes out is equal to s yes out is equal to whichever the last bit that s yes has that should be loaded so else yes colon S yes, colon is equal to S yes of 3 down to 1, 3 down to 1 in concatenation with D in of 0, D in of 0. And we can also write S yes, out is equal to S yes, of 0 s of 0 s out is equal to s of 0 this line is optional is you can write it or no problem otherwise it is as it is directly loaded already we can write s out is equal to s of 0 and if how many ifs we have opened this is one if this is second if so two times we need to push the if and if and if and process and process and end behavior okay so here when m is equal to 0 what is happening that we have written in the program and when m is equal to 1 the shifting operation is done shifting operation we have taken one pin yes we have taken pin s yes. this yes first initially loaded with all the zeros initially loaded with all the zeros later loading operation is being done Later, once the loading operation is done, then S is loaded with D0, D1, D2, D0, uh, D3. Okay, we can have written in a reverse order. D3, D2, 
D1, D0. And after the shifting operation, as S is consisting of this D0, that means S0 is equal to D0. And now S out is nothing but S0. This is what the shifting operation results. Okay. So this is the parallel in serial of shift register. And with this, all the shift registers concept is over. Okay. Thank you.